Hey everyone, I have an easy one for you today. A common question on any Jeep form you go to is, does my pinion angle look right? So you'll see members post up pictures of their pinion angle and they'll be like, does it look right? The problem with that is, is we can get a general idea of whether it looks right, but the only way you're gonna know if you have it right is to actually get under your Jeep and measure. Let's talk about pinion angle for just a second so we understand what we're dealing with here. So you have a pinion gear inside your differential and the angle that we're trying to measure is the pinion angle in relationship to the drive shaft. And in this case, because I'm using a double carbon joint here, or double carbon drive shaft, I want my pinion angle to be zero. Or another way of looking at it is, I want the head of the pinion to be perpendicular to the drive shaft, which would get me a 90 degree angle. When you look at the drive shaft connected to the yoke, that angle should be zero, if that makes sense to you. Let's talk real quick about pinion angle and why it's important. So you have a pinion gear inside your differential here, and how it relates angle-wise to the drive shaft is going to determine whether or not you drive down the road and you feel vibrations or not. When you have a double carton drive shaft like I do here, you want your pinion angle to be zero. That's optimal. Now, there can be some uh, minor adjustments to get rid of vibration, so you may, you may be plus or minus a degree, and that's fine. But starting at zero uh, is a great point to start, and you can dial it in from there. People often experience vibrations after installing a lift. They drive down the road and they're like, I have this horrible vibration coming from under uh, the rear of my Jeep. And if you install a lift, but you don't adjust your pinion angle, more than likely you're going to get those vibrations. So one of the uh, key elements in adjusting your pinion angle is you need to have adjustable control arms. It's always better to have upper and lower adjustable control arms. I have uppers here, lowers here. I can adjust both, both of them. And the reason is if you install a uh, kind of a budget lift, sometimes they only give you adjustable uppers and allows you to rotate the pinion angle back. The downside is that, of that is that you'll uh, tend to run into the gas tank. So if you have uppers and lowers, then you can not only rotate the axle forward or back, but you could also move it in or out and maximize the amount of space you're gonna have behind your uh, differential. I should say minimize. You really want that to be close to your gas tank in order to give you the, uh, the uh, longest drive shaft possible. So when talking about measuring a pinion angle, you have your, your differential case here I'm sorry, you have your differential housing here. You have a pinion gear that goes in here and it meshes with your ring gear. The pinion gear comes out the tail here and this yoke goes over it and then you'll see the nut there that holds the yoke in place. When you're talking, or when you're looking at your drive shaft relationship to the pinion, you want that angle to be zero degrees now let me tell you, this is up on a lift right now, so it may look funky and that's to be expected. When you measure your pinion angle, you want to measure it from ride height. Right now I have it up on a lift just so it's easy to get under here and kind of explain things to you guys. But when I go to measure it, I'll have it down on the ground at ride height. So again, we want the pinion angle to be zero in relationship to the drive shaft. Again, I have a double carbon shaft here and zero here or when you're going to measure there's a flat spot on the back of the house of the uh, housing here you want that flat spot perpendicular to the line of the drive shaft and that's going to give you a zero degree pinion angle and that's the best place to start okay before i lower the jeep i just wanted to uh, show you some options for angle finders real quick you can get a, a cheaper one at any hardware store harbor freight any of that stuff and uh, they're magnetic and they stick there and as you rotate it the angle finder 
rotates with it and that'll tell you what your angle is. Another option is a digital um, angle finder here that you can zero out and that makes it easier to uh, determine what your angle is going to be. Either way, pick your poison and it'll get the job done. Now on the back of the differential, these are the uh, flat spots I was talking about that you're going to put your angle finder on. So I'm going to take the angle finder, set it on the flat spot, and then I'm going to wait for the uh, needle to settle down and that will tell me what my pinion angle is. Now the nice thing about a digital angle, angle finder is that I can zero it out and then when I take it underneath and put it on the drive shaft, it'll uh, get me right at 90 degrees and I don't have to do any math in my head. If you use one of these magnetic manual ones there, you have to see what your beginning angle is, get your drive shaft angle, then do the math on your degrees to make sure you're where you need to be. Took it for a test drive, went and got me some Jimmy John's, no vibrations, I'm a happy man.